Welcome everybody to another week of No Fear Cooking with Magda, Blaine, and Babbitt, who since the last time we taped got himself a haircut and a nice little bow tie he's got. Looking good there, buddy. You certainly are. Hey, listen, today we're going to be going across the seas. We're going to be bringing you Swedish meatballs. Now, the interesting thing about Swedish meatballs is they originate in Turkey. They don't come from Sweden. King Charles XII of Sweden was visiting Turkey, liked it so much, he brought it back to Sweden, and they adopted it as their national dish. Anyway, I want to give a shout out today to Danielle Lewis and her mom, Nancy Lewis. They're both from St. Paul, Minnesota. I knew Danielle around five years ago when I was playing a trivia game on uh, the, the internet. And uh, we start talking about food, and she said about Kotbuller. That's right. Swedish meatballs are called Kotbuller, and her mom had a great recipe. Well, we took the recipe. We loved it. And I asked Danielle and Nancy, would it be okay if we could include it in No Fear Cooking? They said they would be honored. So, folks, today we're going to go to Sweden via Turkey and via St. Paul, Minnesota, Magda, Lena. And South Carolina. And South Carolina and to get thank there. Thank you. What an honor to have your recipe. It's a lovely one. All right. There you go. Magda, take us over and start cooking okay, let's Swedish have fun. meatballs. Welcome to our kitchen today. Let's have fun doing our uh, cod bullers. They are Swedish meatballs and it was an honor to get them from our friends, the recipe. And I'm going to keep it the way we have it. Uh, from our friends. We're going to go through the ingredients. Let's have two pounds of very lean ground beef I'm going to use today. Two potatoes diced and I'm going to cook them. I'm going to have an onions that I'm going to saute. It's going to taste better. We are going to have two eggs for the uh, Swedish meatballs. I'm using white pepper today and um, salt a little bit uh, olive oil together with butter for frying our uh, cod bullers. And now the last thing for the meatballs for the cod bullers is going to be two slices of bread. And I just finished one last week making homemade bread. Now I'm going to go through the ingredients we need for the uh, sauce to mix it. I'm going to use three cups of water, and for that, I'm going to use the beef bouillon, two of them. I'm going to use um, a little bit of butter with half a cup flour together. That's about half a cup of stick, white pepper, and of course, one cup of heavy whipping cream. That's all the ingredients, very easy. I'll explain more through the steps we are going through. We are first starting by boiling the two potatoes cubed, add a teaspoon of salt in the water and 10 to 15 minutes they should be done. Check them often after 10 minutes. Also keep the water from the potato to soak the two slices of bread at the next step. We are going to dice one onion, very small, to your preference actually. Put it in the pan on a medium heat for about 10 minutes. At this uh, point, I like to add a two teaspoon of salt and just wait for about eight to 10 minutes. Check it and stir, don't forget to stir. We don't wanna burn it. And we are ready with the onion. We are having our potatoes ready and we are going to strain them. Keep the water for the bread, please. Same time, the onions is finished sauteing. Looks lovely. And I'm going to put in a big bowl the potatoes that I'm mashing them with my little gadget, but you can mash it with a fork if you like to, or whatever you wanna use. Uh, we are going to add now the onions to the potato. I'll mix it a little bit together and oh, the smell, it's wonderful. You'll love it. Separately in a little cup, please beat well the eggs. It's always good to beat them before you add them to anything. You know they uh, need that. So let's add the two eggs. Add the two pounds of meat, very lean meat. We'll add one teaspoon of salt. 
I like to use white pepper, one teaspoon. And now we are ready to soak the two slices of bread and mix very well with everything together for about three to four minutes till everything is like a sponge. We are ready to make the meatballs and I like to use a meatball scooper. However, you can make them as big as you like to. When you roll them, I put my scooper in cold water every time I go back to make another bowl of meat. And now we are ready to go to fry them. I have all the meatballs rolled and on the side and now I'm going to put the pan on medium high and adding one tablespoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of butter, and I'm going to fry the meatballs for each side about four minutes. And then remove them, put them on the side, and do this with all of them till you are done with the meatballs. We are having the meatballs ready. They're all fried. In the back of the stove, I have the three cups of water with the two beef cubes. And in the front pan, I'm starting half a stick of butter with a half a cup of flour. Wait till the stick of butter is melted and then add the flour. Incorporate it well. I'm adding one teaspoon of white pepper. Mix well again. And now slowly we can add the hot stock to the mixture of the butter and flour and continue mixing well. Add to our gravy one cup of cream. Keep mixing well, and now we are ready to pour the gravy on top of the meatballs. Again, we'll put them back on the stove for about 30 to 40 minutes, and then check them, and if you like to, leave them a little bit longer. If you do not like to fry the meatballs, put them in the oven and bake them for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Meanwhile, you can do your gravy in a pan, bring the meatballs, put them in the gravy, and cook them for about 40 minutes to 60 minutes. It all depends how you like them, but the, the longer you do it, the better. They'll taste delicious. Again, 40 to 60 minutes cook them and they're ready to serve. Enjoy them. Well, Magda, you did it again. Thank you. The whole house <laughs> smells good. I'm gonna see if this tastes as good as it looks. It smells at... wonderful. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What Delicious. a great flavor. Mmm. Thank you so much, Danielle and Nancy. We appreciate the recipe. Thank, Thank you, you, Magda. You may want to eat this with some noodles. Oh, yeah. Noodles or rice or mashed potatoes. Whatever it is, it's going to be great. You're going to love it. Don't forget to come back next week for No Fear Cooking. Manja, manja. Till next time. And thank you for taking time to watch our video on the cooking. <laughs>